Hi, I'm Dr. Catherine Lido, a lecturer in psychology here in the School of Education at the University of Glasgow. I'm a social psychologist, and that means I'm interested in the ways in which the world shapes our thoughts and behaviors, and the way that we think and behave is shaped by the world and the people around us. My research area is stereotyping, prejudice, and inclusion, particularly in learning in schools and universities. My PhD was at the University of Sussex in the area of gender stereotyping in job interviews, or the ways that thinking about a woman as a mother can subtly bias a job interview against her. I think I can contribute to the BBC expertise program in areas of gender, racism, terrorism, extremism, and even in wider areas of health and technology. My idea for a story stems from a piece of work that I did in 2004, which showed that even people low in prejudice might be subtly influenced by negative news coverage of asylum seekers. That is, reading a newspaper article which portrays asylum seekers as criminals or terrorists might actually make us then view them more negatively and be less likely to want them in our country, even if we are egalitarian and low in prejudice. I'm interested now, and I think your viewers would be interested, in the context of today, in the context of Brexit and the recent political elections in America, because the social psychology tells us that humans need to belong and we need a strong sense of us, an in-group. But unfortunately, for every us, we need a them, an out-group. And in times of terror and in times of identity threat, we know that people are more likely to be negative towards or derogate an out-group. And I think it would be interesting to apply some of these social psychology theories to explain what's going on in the world today. And I think your viewers would be interested in that as well.